Hi everyone! So today we are discussing reflectance. Imagine this square as your sample and arrows as light. If your sample is mostly transparent to the incident light, you'll probably measure transmittance or absorbance. What if your sample is opaque? The alternative is to measure the reflected light, or its reflectance. And reflectance corresponds to the amount of light that is reflected by your sample when compared to a reference material. And that will give you the fraction of light that is reflected, in this case, the percentage. So, the information you get is a spectrum of reflection percentage, in the y-axis, per wavelength, in the x-axis. Imagine you are irradiating a blue sample with a white light. The expected spectrum should look like this, where the maximum reflectance is between 450 and 485 nanometers that corresponds to the blue region of visible spectra. And if your sample is green, will be between 500 and 550 nanometers. But if it's red, will be in the region above 600 nanometers. And we can do this over a wide range, from 185 to 2500 nanometers. In our reflectance solutions, all components, spectrometers, light sources, and sampling accessories are independent and connected through optical fibers. So you can easily reconfigure your setup for different wavelength ranges and types of sample. We also have a wide range of sampling accessories, where you can use reflectance probes to measure rough samples in a diffuse configuration or mirror-like samples in a specular mode. Integrating spheres in case you want to have a larger sampling area. And a super flexible solution where you can choose the angles of irradiation and light collection. All these accessories can be attached to our innovative and flexible slide sample holder. Where you can measure solids, films, powders, and microscope slides with high accuracy and reproducibility. The setup must have reflectance standards and we have all kinds of solutions for different types of samples. Find more about our solutions for reflectance at sarspec.com.